Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who also flips furniture on the side in order to earn a profit that I put straight toward my student loan debt. I am excited to share this video with you guys today. This is gonna be a March recap. So before we get into the March furniture flips, I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap of the January and the February flip numbers to have a refresher for our viewers and to catch anybody up who is new to my channel and who is joining along the journey to find out how much money I have left to pay on my student loan debt. And actually really quick before I jump into January and February's numbers, I need to tell you guys thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments, your encouragement, you guys reaching out to me over on Instagram, you participating in my polls on both YouTube and Instagram. We are being able to just share so much behind the scenes with you guys over on Instagram. And then also just, we are so excited about this community and how much it is truly growing. And we are almost at 25,000 at this time of the recording. It's just blowing up and we cannot be more thankful. You guys got to meet Neiman. If you didn't see that post, head over to our community tab. He is a huge part of FFT and I couldn't do this without him. So be sure to say thank you to him as well. Let's head into January's numbers. Starting out on my journey of paying off my student loan debt, I started with $25,400 that I needed to pay. After the month of January, I cut it down to a total of $16,300 left to pay on my student loans. In the month of February, between YouTube ad revenue, furniture flipping, and a several other revenue streams, we were able to cut that down to an amount left of $10,820. So that is where we are starting the month of March with the first furniture flip. For furniture flip number one of the month of March, I started off the month with a commission piece. I had some friends that wanted me to revamp this Lane Cedar chest, and this was gonna be a first for me. They wanted to change the look pretty drastically, so I got straight to work and sanded down the top to get rid of all the varnish that was cracking from a little bit of water damage. Then I used Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain in the color Espresso to get a stained look on the top of the chest. This was my first time using it and I had a little bit of trouble covering the water damage that was on the top. After some discussion with some fellow furniture flippers and brushed by Brandy, who is actually a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell, I was able to come up with a solution to block the water damage from coming through the stain. I applied some clear boss and another coat of no pain gel stain and a top coat to ensure no wear and tear on the top. This blocked all the water damage so I was able to get started on the bottom and I taped off the edges because it was a cedar lined and I didn't want to get any paint on the inside. I painted the bottom of the chest in a beautiful antebellum blue by Dixie Bell and I removed the tape did a flat top coat from Dixie Bell, and we had a beautiful finished product. She absolutely loved the end result and the chest matched perfectly in their newly remodeled living room. I originally had charged $200 to make over the chest and she gave me a $25 tip. After figuring out all of the trouble that I went through when refinishing the chest, she actually came back and ended up giving me 75 more dollars, bringing a total to $300. After spending about $50 on materials, I was able to put $250 toward my student loan debt. For furniture flips number two and three of the month of March, I grabbed a dresser off of Facebook Marketplace and I paired it with a nightstand from a thrift store. I got to work removing all the hardware, cleaning both pieces, and scuff sanding down the tops and the drawers of both the dresser and the nightstand. That way the paint would adhere to the surface nicely. I primed with Dixie Belle's Boss Primer in order to cover up the dark wood because I was planning on painting it a beautiful soft pink. I used Dixie Belle Soft Pink to paint both the nightstand and the dresser, and I used two coats to get full coverage. I applied new hardware on all of the drawers and I had to go through a little bit of trouble to get the drawers aligned correctly. 
but I posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $280 and not much longer than about five or six days, I had a full price offer of $280. And so a grandpa came over and picked up this set for his little granddaughter. So that was really fun to get to see that pink set going to a new family who is really going to truly love it. I ended up spending about $80 total between buying the dresser, the nightstands, and all the new materials. So I came away with a profit of $200 that I put straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flips four, five, six, seven, and eight, I flipped all five of these chairs. I got some green chairs with an ottoman from Facebook Marketplace for $80. My Nana got a striped chair with an ottoman from an estate sale for $25. I got a pink chair from Facebook Marketplace for $35 and a Bentwood rocker from Facebook Marketplace for $20. These were some of the quickest flips for me this month. I was able to flip them all in under three hours. I got started first by ripping off the skirts of all four of the swivel rockers and the two ottomans. Then I took my Bissell vacuum and upholstery cleaner and sprayed down and vacuumed out all the dirt and dust from each and every chair and ottoman. I left the green and striped chairs as is, but I wanted to do something a little bit different for the pink chair. So I detached the swivel rocker, spray painted it matte black, and reattached it. I thought the black complemented the pink much better than the brown did. For the bent wood rocker, all I did was wipe it down with crud cutter to give it a nice clean for the new owners. Then I was able to stage and take photos of all the chairs. As I predicted, the green ones went fast and I actually ended up splitting up the green chairs, earning $380 total, giving me a profit of $300 for that set. The pink chair went next for a total of $195, which was my full asking price, and it gave me a profit of $160. The striped chair with the ottoman took just a little bit longer, but I ended up selling it for $155 on Facebook Marketplace, giving me a total profit of $130 and the Bentwood Rocker took about three or four weeks to sell, but I finally sold it at $100, giving me a profit of $80. In total for all five chairs and two ottomans, I spent $155. I was able to get a revenue of $830 and come away with a profit for all five chairs for $675. And that went straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number nine, I flipped this beautiful miniature hutch that I found at Goodwill for $65. I got to work removing the hardware, and since the doors were warped, I had to remove those as well. I cleaned, filled holes with wood filler, and sanded down the entire hutch. I taped off where I wanted to keep the wood finish, and then I painted the whole hutch with In the Navy by Dixie Bell. And I had a little bit of trouble attaching the gold wallpaper that you guys voted on over on Instagram to the back of the hutch, but I pulled through and it ended up looking great. I really like how the colors contrasted between the gold, the blue, and the wood. I listed this on Facebook Marketplace at $425, but I had no bites. I ended up lowering it to $375 after a few days being listed on Facebook Marketplace. And I had someone reach out wanting me to go down to $300, but they were going on spring break. So I told them if it's still there when they get back, we can agree to meet in the middle. Well, it was still there and nobody else had any interest in it. So they came over and I got $325 for that. So after spending $65 on the hutch, $15 in materials and selling it for $325, I got a total profit of $240. That went straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flips number 10, 11, and 12, I got a heavy three-piece bedroom set from Facebook Marketplace for $145. I was itching to try a new paint, so we headed to Home Depot and picked out some bare chalk paint in the color Pale Sepia. We returned home and I removed the hardware, cleaned the pieces with the dresser almost falling on me. Okay, wait, it did fall on me, almost crushing me. Don't worry, I'm okay. 
I scuff sanded all of the drawers and used Kills Primer to block any stain from coming through the light color paint. I used a roller and a brush to apply the chalk paint to all three pieces. There were a total of 16 drawers and my arm was definitely sore after that one. In between coats, I went out and spray painted the hardware a matte black and I returned inside to do a second coat of paint. I did a top coat on all three pieces, reattached the hardware, staged for photos and posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $665. Not even a couple hours later, I had a message in my inbox over on Facebook Marketplace and they wanted to come check it out that same evening. So they came, checked it out, and they gave me full asking price, which was $665. After paying $145, which is actually a lot more than I normally pay, I ended up using $20 in materials and getting $500 in profit that went straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number 13, I took this ugly blue velvet glider that I got from a thrift store for $10 that needed a lot of cleaning and I transformed it into a new boho lounge chair. First, I removed the rocker and ripped off the skirt before I deep cleaned it with my Bissell vacuum and upholstery cleaner. Once I got all of the dirt and grime out, I attached some mid-century modern legs to the bottom of the chair. I had to use a little shim to make it even so it wouldn't rock back and forth. When I had removed the skirt from the bottom of the chair, there was a little bit of wood showing underneath. So I had an idea from a fellow Instagram follower to attach some macrame to the bottom, which allowed me to create a boho look for the chair. This was something that was completely new to me, but I really liked the way that it was able to cover up the wood on the bottom and that no one would ever know it was there. It was a fun way to still be able to flip these velvet chairs, even if it's not just the ideal ripping off of the skirt. So after spending $10 on the chair at the thrift store and about $40 in materials, I ended up selling the chair for $180. And so that gave me a total profit of $130 that went straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number 14 of the month of March, I flipped this mid-century modern side table. I got it for $5 from Goodwill and it still had some great life left in it. This is a video that you did not see this month on my channel, but be sure to head over to Dixie Bell's channel and get subscribed because this video will be debuting there sometime in April. I got right to work by cleaning up the piece with Dixie Bell's white lightning and then I sanded down the glossy finish of the black paint. I filled in all of the gashes and gouges and even the decorative lines with Dixie Bell's Dixie Mud. I let that dry overnight and then I came back with my orbital sander to sand it down again and create a flat surface. I used Silk Mineral Paint, which is Dixie Bell's new all-in-one paint in the color Anchor to create a matte finish on the top of the side table. And then I used Dixie Bell's Big Mama's Butta in Orange Grove to revitalize the wood finish down below. Dixie Bell's Silk Mineral Paint does not require a top coat, so I got straight to staging and posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $85. After a few days, I had one offer, one inquiry of $70. And so I ended up taking it because it was just one single side table and I was still gonna get a great profit. After spending $5 on the table and using Dixie Bell's materials, I came away with a profit of $65 that went straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number 15 of the month of March, I transformed this blonde mid-century modern dresser that I had gotten from Facebook Marketplace for $45. As always, I started off by removing the hardware and giving the dresser a nice wash. My idea for the drawers was to keep them the raw, unfinished wood. So I sanded down the fronts of the drawers and I took my magnolia white paint from the chippy barn and painted the remainder of the dresser. I really love this paint and it needed about two coats for full coverage. I spray painted the original hardware with a vintage gold color and I also applied some gold to the top of the mirror or maybe it's the bottom of the mirror. I gave a quick top coat over the whole dresser and the hardware and then I reattached the hardware to the drawers to stage the piece and take photos to post on Facebook Marketplace for $225. 
After a couple of days, I had one person inquire and offer me $200. I tried to get them to meet in the middle, but they said their budget was that $200. So I said, okay, because she was the only one. And so after spending $45 on the dresser and $10 in materials, I came away with a total profit of $100. $45 that I put straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number 16 of the month of March, I flipped this tan armchair. I found it at a thrift store for $10, and although it's not my normal velvet chair, I still thought that it could get some money out of it if I just ripped the skirt off. So I got it home, ripped the skirt off, cleaned it up with my Bissell vacuum and an upholstery cleaner, and boy was it dirty. Then I took a razor and shaved off all the fuzz balls, and then we staged it and took photos and posted to Facebook Marketplace for $160. A couple of days later, someone inquired, and I got the full asking price of $160. That gave me a total profit of $150 to put straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flips number 17, 18, and 19, I flipped this beautiful yellow futon and these two Ikea nightstands. I found the futon at Goodwill for $40 and I had to have it because it was in almost perfect condition and I knew it was the right style. I brought it home, trimmed down all of the strings that were popping out and fought and fought and fought with some of the stains that were popping out of the cushions. I finally got to where the stains were very, very minimal and I was able to stage it and post it on Facebook Marketplace for $275. Because we now have means of delivery with our new truck, Felipe, we were able to offer delivery for an extra $25, giving a total sale price of $300. After buying the couch for $40 and not spending any money on materials, I came away with a profit of $260. For the Ikea nightstands, I had some of my friends that wanted me to revamp them to better fit into their new house. I reattached the broken legs and painted the outsides with a dark in the navy blue from Dixie Belle. I also gave them a little extra love and applied some peel and stick wallpaper inside both of the drawers. This brought together everything really nicely and I charged them just $100 to revamp their nightstands. I spent about $5 in materials so that gave me a total profit of $95. So for the nightstands I ended up with a profit of $95. That plus the 260 from the couch ended up giving me a total of $355 straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number 20 of the month of March, I flipped this beautiful brown dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $60. This is another one that you'll see over on Dixie Bell's channel, so be sure to head over there and get subscribed so you can watch it in the month of April. I removed all of the hardware and gave the dresser a really good cleaning using Dixie Belle's White Lightning. I gave it a quick scuff sand and then I got to painting with Dixie Belle's Boss, which is a primer that I wanted to apply before the paint to block any stains from popping through since I was going to be using white. It started raining when I was applying the Boss, so we quickly moved inside and I finished it up. I was able to apply a coat of Dixie Belle's Cotton Chalked Mineral Paint to the entire dresser and it needed two coats of the cotton since it was such a light color. I went through with my hand sander and distressed all over the dresser, on the drawers as well, and to give it that farmhouse look. That's my favorite look to pull off. Then I used Dixie Belle's Wax Clear Coat to wax the entire dresser, and that also acts as a top coat. After the wax was all finished up, I quickly staged it and photographed it and posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $425. I waited just a couple of days and then I had a full price offer of a $425. After spending 60 on the dresser and 10 on materials, I came away with a total profit of $355 straight toward my student loan debt. Wow, 20 furniture flips in one month. It really helped that I had spring break, but between the 12 in January, the 13 in February, and the 20 in March, that puts me at 45 furniture flips for the whole year so far, three months. Part-time at that, guys, I'm a full-time kindergarten teacher. That puts me at 
a third of the way there, over a third of the way to my goal of 125 furniture flips for the entire year. I've still got nine months to go and we're well on our way. Let's talk about how much profit I was able to earn in total from just furniture flipping alone, and then we'll get into some more numbers. So I've got my iPad out because, you know, numbers are kind of hard, but here we go. I came out with a total revenue of $3,835, but you know, I have to spend money to make money. So I spent $770 between furniture and materials to flip the furniture, giving me a total profit of $3,065 that I get to put straight toward my student loan debt. So we're gonna do this quick subtraction problem. And then, like I said, we will get on to the rest of the numbers. But just from furniture flipping alone, we're gonna subtract that from the $10,820 that I had left at the end of February. So that equals a total of $7,775 that I have left just after my furniture flips. But we've got some more numbers for you. As we had mentioned last month, we have been able to diversify and gather tons of other revenue streams as well. So from all of those other revenue streams, this month we made $1,520. We are so thankful for all of these opportunities from different areas and we can't thank those people enough for reaching out to us and believing in us. So thank you to them. That brings our total to $6,255. So let's get to you guys. You guys are my biggest supporters. Well, aside from my family, of course, but that's kind of hard to beat. So you guys support me by watching videos, your encouraging comments, your monetary donations, and the gifts that you send me. I am blown away each and every day by the support that comes from the FFT community. I could not do this without you. I have a link down in the description that is called Buy Me A Coffee and I have had over 22 people donate to me this month and also leaving me very encouraging comments on that website and I love reading those. And so for this month I got $400 donated to my student loan debt from that website alone. So thank you to you guys who have donated over there. And I really, I appreciate you guys spending your hard earned money on me and my movement and supporting me in that way. So thank you guys. And that puts me at $5,855 that we've got left. As I said, I've been getting some amazing gifts that have been sent to my house. And you may wonder how people are getting my address to send me gifts and how do they know what I want? Well, they've been checking out my Amazon wish list. They have gotten me things like hardware, wallpaper, tools, and just anything, you name it, furniture movers. I can't even think of some of the things on that list, but it's just things that really help me do furniture flips. And I can't wait to use those things in the month of April. So if you donated and sent me gifts over on my Amazon wish list, Thank you so much. I always say thank you over on my Instagram stories. So this would be a great time for you to head over there and follow me on Instagram because I love sharing over there on that community as well. It's just an extension of YouTube and I'm able to interact with you guys more and more. So be sure to head over there, give me a follow and see what's going on on Instagram. Okay, it's time for what you guys have been waiting for the YouTube numbers. Now we are using the YouTube numbers this month in just a little bit of a different way. As you know, we released a surprise Saturday video a couple of weeks ago and we did a thrift store trip. But that surprise thrift store video ended up being an even bigger surprise because we shared with you that we were able to add on another member to FFT and that is Felipe. Felipe is our new truck, well, new to us. He's a 2004 Ford F-150 truck and it's a six and a half inch 
bed, and that is plenty of room for all the furniture that I'm excited to fill him up with. And I cannot tell you how excited I am about this extension of FFT. I no longer have to rely on my gracious neighbors to uh, lend me their truck, but instead, if I see that free piece of furniture on the side of the road or on Facebook Marketplace, I can go immediately and pick it up without hesitation. So Felipe, welcome to FFT. Obviously, you guys are probably wondering how in the world did we pay for that truck? I'm working on my student loan debt. Where did that money come from? Well, I want to tell you that we did not go into any further debt in purchasing Felipe. We used this month's YouTube ad revenue to purchase Felipe. He cost $6,400 and then taxes and licensing cost us $700. So in all, we are in at $7,100. But with your gracious views and your support on YouTube and watching through those ads, we were able to pay all of that and still have $1,000 left over. That's right, we made $8,100 on YouTube in one month, flipping furniture part-time. We almost tripled the $3,000 from February, and we are so thankful for you guys. So after purchasing Felipe and all of that extra stuff, we are able to put $1,000 toward my student loan debt from YouTube ad revenue. So that brings us to a total left to pay on my student loan debt of $4,885. I am so, I'm so excited, you guys. These numbers, your support, the amount of growth that we are seeing in the community, in everything around FFT, we are so excited. And I cannot believe that this month in April, I will be able to pay off my student loan completely. We started this YouTube channel just to document this fun furniture flipping and to see what would happen, but it is truly surreal and it is truly amazing to see what this community is growing into and how much support you guys give me, Neiman, and also each other. Because in the comments, I constantly read things like encouraging each other on their furniture flips or giving advice and things like that. And I truly cannot thank you guys enough. And I, I get speechless. I, it's surreal, this experience. And so I just want to say thank you. I think that's the easiest way to put it, but know that I truly mean it when I say thankful. And I am very humbled each and every time I see a comment or a view or a message that encourages me and tells me that I inspire you guys. So keep on flipping. And now I've got some really, really exciting news. I say it every video, see you on the flip side. And you guys have been asking for merch. So you guessed it, we've got it for you. A limited edition, thanks Neiman. A limited edition, see you on the flip side, FFT t-shirt. We have them over on our website, www.furnitureflippingteacher.com. In the description down below, we've got a link that'll take you directly to that website in order for you to order these shirts. Again, they are a limited edition shirt, so you need to head over there right after you're done watching this video because we are only selling them through April 14th. So get on over there right after this video. We've got blue. We've We've got coral, we've got purple, we've got yellow, we've got white, we've got gray, and they are Bella Canvas t-shirts material, so they are super quality shirts. They are very cozy, they are handmade shirts, and they've even got a little bit of an FFT logo on them as well with a heart because I love all of you guys. So here it is our first t-shirt launch. We hope you guys love it and we hope you guys enjoy the shirts and are able to head over there right now 
and order one. Also over on our website, you will see that since this t-shirt launch, we have revamped our website, a whole new design. Head over there, make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom because we need your email. We are going to be sending out a ton more information in newsletters each month, and we want you guys to be a part of those as well. There's also a link down in the description that'll take you straight to that page where you can put your email in there so that you can have those newsletters in your inbox each month. Guys, I am excited for this upcoming month of April. We showed you guys some fun things today, but there is more coming for the month of April. So please get subscribed down below, like this video, realize that furniture flipping, even part-time can be super profitable and it is something that you just may wanna get yourself into. I am Lauren and I will see you on the flip side.